CAT 2022 slot 2 quantitative aptitude question number 8 the average of non decreasing sequence of numbers a1 a2 and so on till an is 300 if a1 is replaced by 6 times a1 the new average becomes 400 so the number of possible values of a1 is so let us just first of all just jot down all the information that is given there. So we have a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on till a to a n and this is equal to 300 times n because the average of these numbers is 300. And then another information that is given is if a1 the first number is replaced by 6 times a1. Let us call this as equation 1. So you have 6 times a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on till a n as 400 times n because the new average becomes 400 that is given to us very clearly. Now if you subtract equation 1 from equation 2 on the left hand side you are left with 5 times a1 and on the right side you are left with n. So now you can have the value of n from 1 to any number. Let us see if n can be equal to 1. So if n is equal to 1, it means that a1 must be equal to 20. But if n is 1, then we can have only one number. And if that one number itself is 20, the average of n numbers in this particular case cannot be 300. So n is equal to 1 cannot be a solution here. So you cannot have n is equal to 1. How about n is equal to 2? If n is equal to 2, I can, I can just simplify this as a1 is equal to 20 times n. If a1 is equal to 2, sorry, if n is equal to 2, then a1 can be 40. So we have two numbers a1 and a2 because n is equal to 2. If a2 is equal to 560, we can indeed have two numbers whose average is 300. 560 plus 40 divided by 2 will give you 300. So n is equal to 2 is feasible. How about n is equal to 3? We will need to do some trial and error. If n is equal to 3, a1 is 60 and then you can have three numbers uh, such that the solution, the average of the three numbers is 300 because if the sum of a1 plus a2 plus a3 is 300 into 3, that is 900, that means we have to choose a2 and a3 such that a2 and a3 must be 900 minus a1, which is basically 60. So a2 plus a3 can be 840. And we can choose some values, random values of a2 and a3 to get the sum to be 840. So what it means is n is equal to 3 is also a feasible solution. Now we have to find a limiting value of n. So let us see if we can calculate the values when n is equal to 16. What happens? If n is equal to 16, a1 which is 20 times 16 is equal to 320. And since these are non-decreasing sequence of numbers, that means a2, a3, a4, they, are, they all must be greater than a1, that is 320. And if all numbers are 320 or greater than 320, then the average cannot be 300. You, you need to understand this. If a1 is equal to 320 and a2, a3, a4, they are all greater than a1. So we will have a list of numbers, all of which are greater than 300 and therefore the average of these numbers can never be 300. So which means n is equal to 16 is not possible. How about n is equal to 15? So a1 is 20 into 15 that is equal to 300. Now, if a1 is 300, we can have all other values, a2 is equal to a3 is equal to a4 and so on, 
till 300. So if every number is 300, then the average of all of these 15 numbers must be 300. And A1, A2, A3 are non-decreasing sequence of n numbers. That means A2, A3 cannot be less than A1, but they can be equal to A1. So the minimum value of n is 2 and maximum value of n is 15. So from 2 to 15, all values of n are possible. So since 2 and 15 both are inclusive, the total number of values must be 15 minus 2 plus 1. Please note that since both are inclusive, I will have to add this 1. So the total number of values possible for n must be 14, which is your answer.